During this video, we will take a more in-depth look at what each tool does. As I mentioned earlier, Prezi is based on the big picture or big idea. This big idea or picture can be an actual picture or it can be text, such as the text you see on your workspace. Whatever you choose to use, this will be your starting point or home position. As we learned in the last video, clicking the home button on the right side of the screen will zoom in on this picture or text. For right now, let's leave the words click anywhere to add an idea as our big picture. We will be changing it later on. Click anywhere on the words to bring up what Prezi calls the zebra. The zebra is a circle made of small lines with plus, hand, and minus buttons. The plus and minus zooms in and out. The hand is a grab tool to move the object or text. To move your picture or text, click once and hold the mouse button, then move the picture or text where you want it. You can also do this by clicking on the picture or text anywhere outside the zebra. To zoom in on your picture or text, click the plus button. Click the minus button to zoom out. You can also zoom in or out by clicking on the blue shaded circle. Moving towards the outside circle zooms in while moving towards the inside circle zooms out. This works the same way as moving pictures or text. You must click and hold the mouse, then move. Clicking the pencil button on the bottom left of the zebra circle lets you edit the text. It also brings up other text editing tools such as left, center, or right justification, and also bulleting. You can also change the style of the text. There are three options. Let's change to the body style. When you are finished editing, click OK. You can also bring up the text editing box by double clicking anywhere on the text. The last function of the zebra tool is using the ring of small lines. This allows you to rotate a picture or text. Click and hold anywhere on the ring and move left or right to rotate the picture or text. If you decide you do not like some of the changes you have made, you can undo them using the left arrow at the top of the screen. Each time you click undo, it will undo the last change you've made going all the way back to our original starting point. Let's start by undoing our rotation. Now we will undo our style change. As you can see, each click takes us back to each step we have made until we are back at our original starting point.